Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi, energetic learners. Wish you a very great day. From Dr. A. Vijayamuda Meri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today, we are going to discuss the traveling salesman problem by brute force approach. So, the traveling salesman problem is the problem of finding a minimum weight Hamiltonian circuit in a complete graph. So, we should know what is a complete graph and what is a Hamiltonian circuit. So, let us define a complete graph. A complete graph is a graph with n number of vertices and edge between each and every vertex. That is an edge between every two vertices. And what is a Hamiltonian circuit? So, it is a circuit that uses every vertex of a graph only once. The Hamiltonian cycle problem is to find if there existed two that visit every city exactly once. So, now let us define what is a weighted graph. So, a weighted graph is a graph in which each edge is assigned a weight. So, this weight may be time, cost or distance. So, that depends on the application. So, let us have this example graph. So, this is a complete graph and you can see here there are four vertices and there are edges between each and every vertex in this graph. So, we say that it is a complete graph and we can also notice that there is a weight associated with each edge. So, between A and B the weight is 2 and between B and D the weight is 4 and so on. So, now let us see the steps required to solve the problem. So, there are n cities with known distances between each pair. Now, our objective is to find the shortest two that passes through all the cities exactly once before returning to the starting city. So, here are the steps which are required to solve the traveling salesman problem by brute force approach. And uh, learners, you all know that the brute force approach tries to solve the problem by iterating each and every possibility of the solution. So, first we list out all the possible solutions and then finally we come to the optimal solution. So, the first we have to calculate the total number of tools and then draw and list all the possible tools and then calculate the distance of each tool and finally out of these tools we have to find the shortest tool which will be the optimal solution. So, as discussed here, first we have to find the total number of tools and then we are going to draw and list all the possible tools, calculate the distance of each tool and then we are going to find the shortest tool. So, here we find that the total number of possible tools are 6. The first one is A, B, C, D, A. So, here all the vertices are visited exactly once and then you can also observe that the starting vertex and the ending vertex should be the same. So, it starts with A and, and it should end with A. So, the next two is A, B, D, C, A. And the cost associated with that tour is also calculated by the side. For the first tour, the cost associated is 70. For the second tour, the cost is 21. And for the third tour, that is A, C, B, D, A, the cost is 20. So, the cost is calculated by just summing up the weights associated with these edges. So, the next tour is A, C, D, B, A and the cost incurred is 21. Then it is A, D, B, C, A. So, the cost is 20 and finally A, D, C, B, A. The cost is 70. So, so for uh, the if the number of vertices is 4 and we have 6 possible tools. So, out of this now we have to find the shortest tool. So, let us see the cost which is the shortest cost or which is the least cost associated here. So, it is uh, 17. So, it is the first tour and the last tour. So, that is the optimum solution. So, if we take the tour A, B, C, D, A, the cost associated with this 17 and if you come across A, D, C, B, A also, the cost associated is the same. So, this is the shortest tour and this is the optimal solution. 
So now let us calculate the efficiency of traveling salesman problem by brute force approach. So as I told earlier, if there are four vertices, the number of possible tours are six. So it is four minus one factorial, which is equal to three factorial, that is six. So if there are n number of nodes, the efficiency can be calculated as n minus one factorial. So I am happy that you have learned the traveling salesman problem by brute force approach. Thank you for listening the video patiently. We will meet you in another video lecture. Thank you.